Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Drupal 8 on CentOS 7. So I'm just going to get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to get the Drupal files that we need. So I'm going to type in here sudo wget and I just have a link here on the clipboard that I'll paste in and I'll click return. Okay, so I'll also um, leave all these links in the description below so you can just copy and paste them in and follow along as you go. So we have that file here, so I'm going to type in ls to check and we can see that it's there. So the next command I'm going to type in is sudo tar minus zxvf and I'm just going to type in Drupal. And I'll use tab just to tab complete that out and then I'll click enter. Okay, so you can see this is now extracting all those files for us. Okay, perfect. So that looks like it's done. So let's type in ls here again. And you can see we have Drupal 8.4.2. Okay, so I'm just going to move this into our Apache directory. So I'm going to type in sudo mv space Drupal, use tab completion just to tab it out, space, I'm going to move it into var, dub dub dub, html, and I hit enter. Now I'm going to cd into var, dub dub dub, html, and I'll type ls, and we can see Drupal is here. So I'm just going to do one last thing here, and I'm going to type in sudo mv, Drupal. I'm going to use tab just to tab it out and I'm just going to rename that folder as Drupal. So if I just press ls now you can see it's just called Drupal. Okay that all looks good so I'm just going to correct some permissions here. So the first one is going to be for SE Linux and again I'll put all these commands below but this is chcon dash or and I'm going to allow Apache into the var www html uh, folder and all the recursive folders in that and I'm just going to go back here actually type in sudo and I'll hit enter okay and there's one more I'm going to type in here which is sudo chmod minus capital R Apache colon Apache and we'll just do var dub 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 html to give apache ownership of oh, we have an error here ah so i see what i've done here i typed in the wrong command sorry so i'm ch own and let me put sudo in front of that as well sudo ch own minus or apache colon apache and we'll just do var dub 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 html Okay, perfect. That's done for us now. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm just going to edit our Apache config file so it knows where to look for our Drupal files. So I'm going to type in sudo vi forward slash etc forward slash httpd and then conf and forward slash and then httpd.conf. So it's going to open it in Vi, and I'm going to press I to go into insert mode. And I'm just going to scroll down here now for a second until I find the uh, the section that I'm looking for, which is here, document root. So I'm going to press, I'm in insert mode, so I'm going to put in a forward slash, and I'm just going to put in Drupal. So you can now see Apache will now look in that Drupal folder where all our files are. So I'm going to press escape, colon, W, Q, exclamation mark, we're pretty much right, and quit. Okay, perfect, we've done that now. Okay, so just before we uh, move on to the real meat of the installation, we need to get PHP 7 on our machine. Drupal 8 requires PHP 7 to run. So the first thing I'm going to type in here is um, just to subscribe to some repos. So I have these on the uh, clipboard here. So it's RPM space minus capital U VH and then this URL. So I'm going to click enter. Oh, and I didn't say the magic words. So let me come back up here and do sudo 
and try that command again. Perfect, and you can see I actually already have that one installed. Okay, so if you don't have it installed and you're prompted, just press yes to be sure you have it installed. So I'm gonna do the same again, but with this URL here, and I will hit enter. Okay, perfect, and it looks like that's done for us. So now I'm gonna type in sudo yum install php 70w. Okay, and I'm just gonna press Y here for yes. And I'll just press Y here again for yes. Okay, great, and we can see that's now done for us there. Okay, so we're nearly there now. So I'm just going to uh, restart Apache to make sure it picks up any changes that we made. So you can do this by typing in sudo service HTTPD restart. Okay, and now I'm going to go up to my applications and I'm going to open up Firefox here. And I'm just going to navigate to my local host. And hopefully now uh, when this loads up, we should see Drupal and we should be prompted to step through the install process. Okay, and this looks good. So I'm going to click English and click Save and Continue. And hopefully now we'll be brought on to the next screen. Perfect. And I'm going to leave it as standard and click Save and Continue again. Okay, so you can see we're getting um, a few errors here on PHP extension. So this is nothing really to worry about. We just need to install these extensions. So I'm going to go back to my terminal here and I'm going to type in sudo yum install php 70w hyphen dom and I'm going to hit return and this should hopefully go off and fetch the packets that we need. Okay, and if you're prompted, just press Y to complete the install, and we can see that's now done for us. Okay, so I'm just going to press the up arrow, and I'm going to change the DOM to say GD, and I'll hit return. And again, this should go off and fetch what we need. So I'm just going to click Y here, and this should install fairly quick for us now. And I'm going to press the up arrow once more. And I'm going to type in PDO and I will hit return here and this should go off and fetch what we need again. I'll hit Y to install and we can see that's all complete. So last I'm going to type in again sudo service HTTPD restart to restart Apache to be sure it's picked up any changes that we've made there. Okay, I'm going to go back to my uh, Firefox window here and I'm just going to refresh this page and we'll, we'll see what it says once it, once it loads back up for us. Okay, so we're getting a few warnings now, but we don't have any errors and I'm just going to uh, ignore these warnings. We can just work away without it without issue. So everything looks okay for us and I'm going to click to continue anyway. Okay, um, I'm going to leave the database configuration as SQLite and as the default, and I'm going to click save and continue. Okay, and we can see our site is now installing. So I'll just pause the video while this is installing, as it may take a few minutes, and I'll pop back once it's installed. Okay, great. Uh, this has installed for us now, so I'm just going to put in the final configuration here. I'm going to call my site Darren. Uh, I'm just going to put in an email address of Darren at Darren.com. It's going to tab down uh, username. I'm going to say Darren. Password, I'm just going to put in a weak password here because it's a test site. If you're using uh, this Drupal site as a live site, be sure you have uh, strong passwords. I'm going to leave my email address as darren.darren .darren, and let me just scroll down here and I will leave everything else as the default and I'll then click save and continue. Okay, and I was going to click, no, I don't want Firefox to remember this. So hopefully now we should be brought into our Drupal site. Um, if you enjoyed this video or indeed if you got stuck in any part, be sure to comment below and if I can help I certainly will and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. 
Okay, and that's it. You can see, congratulations, you have installed Drupal. Again, if you have any uh, questions, be sure to comment below, and if I can help, I certainly will, and thanks for watching.